Hello everyone, welcome back to Nightside Productions. I'm King Volps and we have done it. We have gotten Windows VR working on Mac. Today I will be showing you how to do this yourself and uh, what games you can play. And yeah, it's pretty amazing that we were able to get this and well, let's waste no time and get right into it, shall we? Right, so before we get started, there are many issues to this option. First of all, Parallels is a paid app. Uh, I am on the free trial right now, but after that trial is up, uh, you do have to pay $100 to keep the app. And I believe there's a subscription uh, option, but it's honestly not the most ideal app uh, for Windows gaming. Probably why I still may prefer crossover. Hopefully we find another option to play VR, but as of right now, this is the only way. Uh, second, Oculus Client is bugged on Windows ARM. I mean, we can't access the store or library as of right now, only the demos that I will be showing. And hopefully we find a solution because SteamVR also doesn't work, but you can launch SteamVR through the Oculus client on a normal Windows desktop. And I'm hoping that in the future, that is a viable option to getting SteamVR working on here. Uh, thank you to OneZerd who discovered this uh, two years ago. It was posted in an article. Uh, they kind of just disappeared. No updates to uh, what they were working on. And it seemed no one could really get it, uh, their method working until now, obviously. But uh, yeah, so that's all you need to know. And let's get into this. So first of all, we're going to go to the terminal. And make sure you have virtual desktop and Oculus set up. And we're going to put the Oculus setup in here. We're going to do slash diagnostic. That's going to open the setup. The only difference is that, so if you try to install it regularly, it will go to the installation process, but it will delete itself afterwards due to detecting the issue and i don't really know what the issue is it doesn't really say it just says there was a problem it will delete itself basically what diagnostic mode does is it stops itself from deleting itself and uh what we're going to do is we're going to kill the installation process after it downloaded everything installed everything so let's wait for that to go through its thing All right, now this is going to show up. You do not press OK under any circumstances. We're going to go to Test Manager. And we're going to kill the process. All right, that saves everything. Now we're going to go to this PC. We're going to open a terminal here. And you're going to copy in this command. I'll put this in the uh, description. Sorry if I can't really speak. It's, as you can see, 1.32 a.m. And I am tired. Anyway, so paste that in. Click yes. All right. And to check if it worked properly. Yep. All right. Now our restart parallels, just in case. So we're going to restart that. All right. Now do keep in mind your performance will vary. I am on a seven core M1 because it's all I have. And that is not the best Mac for uh, VR, of course. But the first steps demo does run well, as you'll see later. Uh, anyway, you are going to set up virtual desktop. And uh, now, just to make sure that Oculus is running, oh, wait, we're going to go back, open a terminal, paste in that command again, 
And instead of install, because it's already installed, do start. Or, hold up, I did it wrong. There we go. All right, it's already running. Uh, most of the time it will be running already, but just to make sure, always check. All right. So we're going to switch over to the headset view. So give me a second. But now we're in the virtual desktop uh, view. What you're going to do is you're going to open the virtual desktop menu and you're going to go to games and this will be all the demos available to you. Uh, don't mind this, it did not work. That was from an earlier test, but uh, let's look up first steps so I can show you. Give it a while to load. All right, now we should enter VR. And there we go. As you can see, the performance is not really the best. Uh, again, I'm now going to go up for the lowest Apple Silicon you can possibly get. Well, the fact that it's a part of the device, the fact that you can get this far from the VR device is impressive. It's here, it's working. If you are going to try uh, this on a low end Mac, I would recommend this demo. It is probably one of the best running I could find, even on a 7 core M1, as you can see. Now, it's still not optimal, but. Welcome to works. Oculus. After this tutorial, you'll be ready to explore. Your virtual hands can do just about anything. Go ahead, play with some of these items. All right, and one last thing I forgot to mention. To get my network working, uh, I had to, if I can get it to pop up. There we go. So I had to go to the hardware settings network and change source to Wi-Fi. That way my headset can detect my uh, VM software on Wi-Fi. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get v uh, Windows VR working on Mac, uh, Apple Silicon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Uh, hopefully we can expand it in the future. I am looking for fixes for the Oculus client. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I would say this is a small step for VR, but a giant leap for Mac gaming. And see you around.